the number one song of all time is obviously Daddy Yankee Gasoline. <laughs> I was going to say what? <laughs> uh, number one of all time. Get your drum rolls ready. Let me guess. Let me guess. I'm just going to take a wild swing before you get there. Uh, probably, obviously, something by Lil Dicky. <laughs> Uh, Sam Cooke, change is gonna come. Number two, wow. Public Enemy, fight the power. Number one, Aretha Franklin, Aretha, Fra Aretha Franklin, respect. I agree with that. That's a great song. Fight I mean, the power is pretty legendary. Change whoever is owns the masters of that song is probably like, yeah, this is a great song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you guys see uh just Rolling Stone <laughs> 500 recently by chance? Yeah, number two. Damn, I wonder who wrote this. Probably the label that owns it. <laughs> the the blurb? Yeah. Chuck D once like in Fight the but They're probably doing Rolling Stone writers on it. Carson Daly did not like Outcast as Hey Ya number 10. He didn't enjoy that. The Beach Boys. God only knows. Everybody knows that song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everyone loves the Beach Boys. I do. I really enjoy Give Me Shelter. It's a awesome song. You know what that is off top? No. Nah. The Kinks never heard of them. No, I know the Kinks are Beatles. I want to hold your hand. Who's at number three fifty? You know, just the coveted spot. Obviously, John Prine, Angel from Montgomery, nineteen. No way, this person listened to all this music. <laughs> they probably have just a squad. Because fifty, fifty, you got okay, fifty little blurbs from five forty four fifty one. Stronger at five hundred. Fuck off. I'm saying that's bullshit. What it should be at least like 250. <laughs> what See, that's what I love about these things. Just like look cool. at all these riders 274. One, two, three, four, five riders on stronger. Oh, uh, on this article, one, two, three, four, five. Probably about what five. if Corey is like, hey, hold up, Jody? I don't think. Number 450 should be this. I think it should be this. A war room going on in Rolling Stone. They're like, that's bullshit, bro. 476 is off. Maybe, maybe each one was like assigned like 50 songs or like I'm a list of 50. And then like the most senior writer got to choose the top one. I was saying just from like a, like a workload perspective, 50 little blurbs. That's, that's pretty. That's, that's a solid amount of like work. Me, I would, me personally, I would just hate this assignment. I'd be like, dude, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Fuck that. That's what Stella would probably say with Kanye West Strong. He's like, yo, dude, I Kanye, 500. <laughs> would I have 500 to 451? Like, like let, me just, let me just put my phone on shuffle and see what <laughs> fucking plays. Oh, uh, dude. We got a freaking Joseph Hudak and Jeff Yaza over right here on 451 to 500. They just really didn't want to do it. And they're like... Kanye, dude, he <laughs> just, just, dude, what they probably did, bro, because like, pretty objectively, stronger isn't five hundred. <laughs> like, yeah, that was like a, that was like a genre bending song. Did, dude, dude, but like, I know the freaking thing. So what they might have done, they're like, yo, top of the list, you guys. You What's guys the safest choice? <laughs> top of the list, you guys want to make some? You guys want to make Kanye tweet us? Maybe yeah, stronger. Fuck, I remember those glasses used to be so cool. Lizzo, Harry Nelson, Carly Simon, Cindy Lauper. I know that name a little bit. David, David Bowie. Bowie. Oh, it's about David Bowie. Yeah. Dreamer, but Dreamer. Freaking wow! Dude. One writer on that one. Oh yeah, Steven Tyler. Mm. He's dead. He's alive. He's alive. He's Looks dead. He's on American Idol or something. Oh, good for him. I think they were playing in San Diego once, the Rolling Stones, and I went downtown to hear them a little bit. But it wasn't them playing yet. It was Gary Clark Jr. And then I left. Uh, you didn't want to hear 60-year-old guitarist. It was pretty cool. Pretty legendary. I like him. I wonder what it's like to just be old and just be touring and like your fingers hurt and you're just you probably, old. You probably like it a little bit. You got to take pills before you walk on stage. But then, you're, but you're with your buddies and you've all been friends for like 40 years and you've been through like multiple divorces together. 
You know? And you just want to see the weekend together. And you're all just fucking rich as fuck. Probably not. <laughs> but you don't even care because you're helpless failing. 